just like most folks, I grew up in a you know a so-called urban environment, and uh, you know was a gangbanger for a little bit. It's been a blessing that I've been able to, you know, actually find something that completes me, and that is uh, music. And uh, you know, at this point, you know, as long as I got a horn to blow on, um, you know, what I'm saying life is beautiful. And it wasn't like that before my car accident. You know, before my car accident, I was an angry person. As I was learning how to be a better musician, I was just playing on the streets and playing on the side of the freeway so nobody could hear me when I wasn't playing on the streets. And I just kept on playing. People would tell me that I sucked, but I would just, just keep on playing and playing. I'm glad that it gives people some sort of uh, you know effect, positive effect, because you know, I've always wanted to do that. Like when I would uh, daydream about being a good uh, musician I, when I was really bad, you know, and I still have dreams about playing better and better. But uh, I would, that was the main thing is having an impact on people, seeing people dance or making people smile or hug and kiss and stuff like that. From my experience coming to my friend's place, there were many moments where I felt empowered. Um, I guess the biggest one was when uh, Miley Cyrus was here, you know, the whole family, you know, and I was playing with them, so that was a big moment, you know. Everybody was really down to earth and fun, and it was uh, really a uh, you know magical moment. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the story, you know what I'm saying? When I do succeed, I want people to just to see that it was it, it just you know regular person that just put in an irregular amount of practice time. You know what I'm saying? Ride till I can't go.